Hi, good morning. Uh, for many of us, it's our first day back at work, uh, so I thought I'd bring you a rather uh, relevant message. Cathedrals are the most beautiful buildings in the world. If you don't believe me, just Google the Cathedral of Milan or the Washington National Cathedral. Some of the oldest man-made structures still standing on this planet are cathedrals. Many of them look, uh, well, took over a hundred years to build. Can you imagine that? A hundred years to construct one building. Bear in mind, these builders had not been to university to study architecture or building technology. They didn't have cranes and diggers and all of this modern equipment used in constructing even the simplest boys' quarters today. They didn't have computers or even calculators to help them work out the correct measurements and proportions. But somehow, they still managed to create these amazingly complex, impossibly beautiful, eternally strong edifices which continue to stand long after the builders are dead and gone. Very often, the men who worked on cathedrals spent their whole lives on that single project. And amazingly, many of them did the work for free. Church leaders were extremely powerful back then. They could order a whole village to spend a year working on a cathedral project as penance for some sin one of them may have committed, and they would all obey without questioning. Many cathedral master builders believed that they were doing it for God. And so they sacrificed their time, energy and skills for no financial reward whatsoever. Sadly, the builders and craftsmen who created these miraculous monuments are almost all unknown today. Their names were never recorded, so in addition to not being paid, they will never enjoy any credit or praise for the amazing work they spent their entire lives doing. The fruits of their life's labor are visible for all to see, but they themselves will forever remain invisible. You know, there's a story of a young craftsman who was asked to sculpt a piece of stone which would be used to hold up one corner of a cathedral roof. Now, even though he knew it would be hidden out of sight under the gable, he still spent days carving this stone into a beautiful angel figurine. Now, one of the laborers asked him why he was toiling so hard over a stone nobody would even see. His answer was simple. God sees. My dear friends, we may not realize it, but there are many invisible people amongst us today. People we never see or think about or acknowledge. What's the name of the man who sells you your newspaper every day? Who's the woman who sweeps the street in your estate? Do you know the person who washes the dishes after you have your lunch? Does your office cleaner have a, a wife? Does he have children? Did you notice when he was off sick for a whole month? These people work daily to make our lives easier, but we don't see or acknowledge them. For some of you, the invisible people are a lot closer to home. When you come out of the shower, your clothes are miraculously laid out for you to wear. When you sit at the dining table, food miraculously appears before you. Your children are miraculously washed and dressed, ready for school every morning. You come from work, you take off your clothes, you put them in the laundry basket, and by Monday morning, these same clothes are miraculously washed, ironed, and folded in your wardrobe. Some of you have never seen an electricity or water bill in your lives. You flip the switch knowing that the lights will come on, but you don't know how they are paid for. Nobody has ever turned up at your door to evict you because you haven't paid your rent or mortgage, all thanks to that invisible person who spends their whole lives working to make your life easier. Today, I want to talk to all of you invisible people out there. Your work may not be seen or acknowledged or rewarded, but I want you to know that you are building a cathedral. I want you to know that people may come and go without seeing you, but God sees you. We take you for granted, but don't let that stop you. You don't work for us, you work for Him. And your employer sees everything you do, every bill you pay, every button you sew, every desk you clean, every leaf you sweep off the street, every newspaper you fold in two and hand to your customer with a smile that he won't even notice. God sees your cathedral, my friend, and he's well pleased. My name is Kujo Yangsen, and I may not see you, but you are not invisible to me. Thank you for tuning in and watching us every morning. Good morning, Ghana folk. Hello, good morning and welcome to the AMUs with me, Mapito Sibidi. Now in our first story, a mother and father, each losing a son to election violence in their constituency, dominated by guns. 
This morning, one of them has been sharing the chilling accounts of how his son was allegedly gunned down during clashes with the police and military in the Techima South constituency. He spoke to my colleague, Erastus Asari Donko. Between uh, four, four to five more. Uh, so in, so in the city, you know. Many people are sustained gunshots. When those shots were being picked up, someone came to inform me that my son was one of those dead. I asked the person, my brother of mine, to call my son's number but he would not respond. At the time, I didn't want us to draw any conclusions. At what time now who say Uniano or come more to the town? Media Nipano Mutu Mutu no Omodo, Mosa Saomono, and now Ubi Babacas, I was he won't say Omo Mosa Saomono, me banaka, and I'm so da Binano Cure. In the Minia Kuma way, only in a way. In the Macassian say one fret Aqualano no man de Banyanche, say no Cure say. Nipana is a salmon aqualana canoa. Do one of the friend no man, I belly, I will be on fan or say, Ah, was he a friend no man, I belly will be on fa. And I'm seeing the one free fear, Abi Abounds, Aqualana, but fear. I've said, Say, young for Messia, Yentimin engine to me, a young one. Who bet me now, Colaco, but be never been to our buffy crab, our woman, and to a moon fan out fear first. So, Nifia, Nan, son, Edem, Yachaki. Nipana de Ben or more. Into a fray fears are almost so nifi. Dear Hono, none so no gusu topa and the enemies in the Miamu member fear by the chucky. Dimmy bedroom fear and I may fray or no, and also okay on Zoo or co hospital more. Dimmy or Hono, my friends say, I aqualanoa, the member hospital more. Dimmy Miko draw, and I mean, you are Kuma will crown on. Former Upper East Regional Minister Roxanne Bukhari is calling on the youth of Northern Ghana to desist from burning car tires on the roads as part of their protest against the election 2020 results. He says such acts could cause accidents or create potholes on the roads, which lead to the deterioration of the few good roads that are in the north. And a Christmas message to the people of the region and Ghanaians at large, Mr. Bukhari, who prides himself as a senior citizen of Ghana, also appealed to former President John Mahama to use the courts to seek redress for whatever difficulties he has with the election 2020 outcome and discourage the youth from embarking on further protests. This, he says, will help foster peace and the development of the North. I am worried about the youth of the North because every activity, every action being taken in the streets, you see Northerners leading. At Asama in Accra, in Kumasi, in Tamale, in Upper East, in all the regions of Ghana. I've seen that the youth are always on the forefront, burning ties, destroying property, which is uncalled for. We are behind development, and we need development. Our roads are bad, our schools are bad, and we need development. So why should they destroy our roads again? Why should they burn these ties? I am pleading with John Mama, to remember that however powerful man is, he cannot direct the course of history. And that God's son has never failed to rise. He should know the best for his possibilities. And we don't want your mama to have, to have problems for himself. He should remember the possibilities and not the problems. Don't let our youth break their eggs and the north will be depleted of the youth. As a senior citizen of Ghana and one of the senior citizens from the north, this Christmas period, I wish to appeal to the former president that this season is for sober reflection 
and prayers to the Almighty God and our Lord Jesus Christ for, for His divine intervention to save us, to shelter us, to secure us, to redeem us. And for that matter, your mama to reflect seriously on this one and ask the youth and his supporters to remain calm and to take after Christmas, to take the matter to the Supreme Court for redress so that there will be peace and unity in the nation Ghana. Hoteliers, restaurants and bar operators are having to spend their nights at depots of alcoholic beverage distributors due to a shortage of the commodity in the region. Club beer especially is said to have become so scarce in the past three weeks, the price has shot up. Joining Up West correspondent Rafiq Salam reports from Moi. For the past three weeks, Club beer has been one precious alcoholic drink that has been hard to come by in the one municipality. Hoteliers, restaurant and bar operators hold from one depot to the other searching for it. These operators will usually get up early morning coming around the various sales point or depots hoping to at least spot a truck loaded with a precious commodity. Once it is spotted, they swarm there like bees and plead on the salesman to sell for them. In some cases, they have their wishes answered and others have to go through frustration. This extra truck belonging to Bazaarware Enterprise was spotted during the wee hours of Monday in front of the depot located on the Contrabandia Street opposite the White House. Dina Dele owns view Bar and she's been here since 5 a.m. This morning, this is five something. I was here, I'm not getting the drink. Why are you not getting it? And the, the queue is too much. We are not getting some. I'm frustrated about it. I even want to lock I'm testing it. For some to have access to the commodity, they have to use middlemen to fight for them. Dr. Munasung Amos is a medical practitioner and also owns a drinking bar. Assuming you are doing a business, that's where you can get your daily bread from. Then you come with 15 crates and they'll give you only two crates. Where will you get it from? That's currently what is happening. If you are not a VIP, you can get it. Currently, you have to get it through VIP. The shortage of club beer has pushed a price from one bottle, which used to cost five Ghana cities to seven Ghana cities. It's not only bar owners in the one municipality who are feeling the pinch of the shortage of club beer. In front of me are these three personalities who came all the way from Babylon in the Laura municipality. Okay, you'll be here since 5 30 a.m. Yeah. Uh, when you came, who did you meet? I met some men with us, uh, 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 sellers. They did not, they said we should wait, they will give us a drink. They did not give us. Those men, they have taken their drink, they have gone, leaving, leaving the uh, travel of us sitting here. So you'll be here for the past seven eight hours yes so how frustrated are you no this morning i didn't take, even take water i didn't take anything so i'm even tired i don't know how to see, do again how hard has it hit you it, um it has hit us because we the, we can't get drink to sell again nobody can we cannot get drink to drink so we are pleading if they can help us to get drink to sell if not, they, they will always come to the, the bar and ask for a drink. There is no drink, nothing. So that, that, that way they, it has affected us a lot. In some cases, they are saying that the salesmen have resorted to what they call conditional sales. One of the bar owners will explain to me what he meant by conditional sales. That one, if you go to buy a club, maybe four or five crates, you have to buy a girl eagle um, lager or eagle uh, stout that one people don't buy they don't patronize on it so they are selling on condition if you go to the guinness product if you buy guinness you have to buy um, what is the name origin bitters that one two people don't patronize on it meanwhile salesman at bazaar where enterprise edmund coley refuted claims that they have the community in abundance but are holding it. Is that true? No, this one is not true. After, they, they, after for us, they received our truck yesterday. 
in the afternoon time, where the truck comes. So if so for that one, like if someone they be that that fellow like is lying. You can see the struggle behind me. How the people are really trying to get their precious commodity. It's been like this for the past three weeks, and they are saying that they are at their wit ends. Reporting for Joy News, Rafik Salam. Wa. And that's how we end the AM News here on the AM Show with me, my Peter CBD. But the AM Show continues with Mama V and Gifty, so stay tuned. It's amazing the kind of things that happen behind the scenes. What You're happens welcome back. behind the scenes? Do you want me to go on? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome back. This is the AM show. It's an all ladies affair this week. I hope you're enjoying it so far. And uh, we want to do the newspaper review, but obviously there are no newspapers. So while we, the journalists, are here working, you know, our colleagues on the newspaper side are having fun. So, <laughs> but thankfully, there is the digital breakthrough. So we can bring you the review on our online uh, <laughs> platforms we'll start with myjoyonline.com right here from home <laughs> absolutely story. yeah big story manasseh azuria wune says the threats on my life won't stop my fight against corruption and that's uh, the, the story we brought you yesterday he's apparently received some um messages threatening him but he says that will not stop him next story there going to court is a waste of money Henry Latte tells uh, John Mahama, and it comes with a picture of former President John Mahama there. Um, uh, obviously, we know that they've said they'll go to court either today or tomorrow, and it's one of the things that we're looking forward to uh, follow up on for you as we go along. But they, John Boyd, who is the General Secretary for the NPP, is also there. He says, we pray for a successful and prosperous second term for a Kufuado. Okay, the story is attributed to the NPP, so his picture is representing the party right there. And Ghana's COVID-19 death toll, 333. Three, three. Active cases now, 888. Eight. So that's a revelation that we got yesterday on the Pulse with Dr. Dacosta Abuaje, uh, who told us that the 333, three, three, the number of deaths, mm. was as of yesterday, mm. which means that he said it was about 32-something and by yesterday we had reached 333 mm. he was concerned about the way people were blatantly you know flouting the covid 19 uh, uh rules and going to right going mm. to the beach yesterday oh. so yesterday in the morning when manuel was there you mm. realized that you had just a few people mm -hmm. there in the afternoon mm -hmm. during pause when we went over there with manuel it was a full house absolutely full house and some of the people who spoke to manuel some of them said um they were not going to get into the water but nothing stops them uh, you know from sitting there some of them said well we saw the politicians go out mm. so we're also mm. out mm. some of them say <laughs> some of them say well we're just here we've seen that people are going into the water we didn't intend to but since we've seen people going we'll also get into it so, but they're, they're raising the concern that we need to be more responsible we need to be more um, serious with it Okay, so the other stories there, Chairman Woon to me justifies his failure to capture all 47 constituencies in the Ashanti region. I mean, I don't know if everybody thought it was a realistic target he set for himself at the beginning. But yeah, you always make targets, you know, you learn from your mistakes and you move forward. And I hope he's doing that. It's almost becoming a crime to be seen fighting corruption under NPP, Suleiman Abraima. That story has been there for a while. He is the, uh, the, the executive director of the Media Foundation for West Africa. And one of the interesting stories yesterday that came up also is that the NPP is to dismiss MMDCEs who contributed to the defeat of the parliamentary candidate. Mm. So Kosi Paka Wilson spoke to... Um, uh, Asafu Mafo, who, the senior, senior minister, minister, who is also apparently the chair of this, uh, the chairperson of this committee. And he said, yeah, if you are found to have worked against the parliamentary candidates, you have to be thrown out. Uh, that's exactly the words you thrown out. You have to throw them out. So, uh, but later, Samia Wuku spoke and mm -hmm. said, the recommendation by this team will have to come to the party. 
the, the oh. yeah, I think the I steering think the national committee, executive. Yes. And then they will then look at it and decide whether or not they want to go ahead. So it's not automatic. It's not automatic. Mm. He said it's not automatic. It was an interesting uh, uh, conversation yeah. I listened to on uh, Newsnight with MFA. I, I kind of have the, and I'm, I'm, I, I'm not sure that I know a lot about the party internal politics, mm. but I feel like the NP should have a say in who becomes the DC or the MCE. Why because you they? see, when they work together, mm. the, the achievements is seen by everybody you get what okay. i mean and they're on the same course because when they work against each other when you work against each other the mp suffers because personally i think on the ground the dc or mc is more powerful because they, they have a they lot more resources the yeah. and they that's a representative of the president on the ground mm. you know and and they have a lot more uh, but because the mp goes around and also hears people's stories and then would have to make some commitments mm. he will need the resources to execute that so if they all if they all have the same agenda so for instance there is a plan uh, this constituency will have say three toilets uh, the oh mp God, I wish you did would know i shouldn't have said, said toilet. No, i mean not that what you should i say not that you should i said i wish you didn't have to say <laughs> toilet so that in so then what it meant is that people had toilets in their homes so toilet won't be a national well, priority unfortunately, for parliament who by the way is supposed to be making laws exactly rather than okay uh, developing but you see because he goes around outside. and he hears people's real yeah. stories and you he mean, wants them before fixed. He had, because he attends now, uh, funerals and outdoorings and okay. exactly because if you don't do that they won't vote for you you can ask doctor exactly Kuhn. yeah now so if this uh, uh, mp is working closely with the dc or mce mm. Uh, that is supposed to come into the constituency. But DC probably thinks that, oh, this other area needs it first, or that area, or maybe we should do the road first, mm. you know, that kind of thing. But MP could work together, and then they can say, okay, let's build one in this constituency okay. together. I think this is crucial. And then afterwards, we can do this. And once they go together, moving together, telling what they've done, it would the the achievement as in the results mm. will be a lot more appreciated the right. only challenge really is that not every mp will have a dcu or an mce from the same government right you got any also from the same yeah. party and when you say the mp benefits i think i i take it that you mean the political benefits because for me at the end of the day the people the development when they work together then the people will have the things they need the basic things that they need to make their lives better yeah. at the end of the day. And then yeah. you can make your political capital out of it. Because otherwise, if it's like a competition, then nobody yeah. wins. Yeah. Uh, also, because sometimes the DC MC also has ambitions. They also want to be MP. MP. Really. So okay. they want the people to, to realize that they are doing a lot of work. So they should keep yeah. they should keep I always up with say it. big ups to the MC in Wejak Bawe because I, I've seen how he's worked beautifully with, uh, the, with the yeah, MP yeah. Tina, and it's incredible. Right. I, I like their story really, but there's also it's also because they have a relationship, so okay. that's peculiar. Okay, yeah. well, build those relationships now. Uh, it's getting to the end of the year. You want to build those relationships now before the year ends. Don't carry 2020s, <laughs> you know, baggage into 2021. Okay, let me finish up with myjoyonline.com quickly, and then Mama Vio Sabaji will do the uh, the daily graphic online corruption is business in Ghana. So you see corruption dominating uh, the top stories there at the, uh, on myjoyonline.com. If you scroll down a little bit, you see the video uh, of the NPP Thanksgiving, which dominated news portals yesterday. Uh, I see someone like Nana B and some people there, you know, having their own uh, fun uh, party there. It looks like it went well for them uh, on that celebration. We have some other stories there as far back as Saturday's uh, news file. And you have uh, Manasseh Azuria Winnie who joined, who joined um, the uh, conversation on Saturday. So let's do daily graphic. Okay, uh, graphic online. Uh, here we go. Nigeria and SA COVID-19 variants should not be compared. So yesterday, Gifty talked about the fact that there are new variants discovered South Africa and the UK. Now people are closing their borders to those two countries, even though the WHO says that's not the way to go. Uh, but that's a, a conversation continuing from that uh, on the page. Let's check out the other stories uh, on the page on the graphic online. Government must increase purchase of Kantanka vehicles. 
that's a call from a chief. There's a video to it. Uh, I wonder if something we can open, but otherwise, let's check out the rest of the mm. stories. NDC and others to mark 39th anniversary of 31st December revolution. Now, that's uh, some people have said that's a controversial one uh, because the NDC, and this was a statement that came out yesterday in partnership with the office of the former President Jerry John Rawlins and the Central Planning Committee of the 31st December anniversary will commemorate the 39th anniversary of the 31st December revolution on Thursday, December 31. The event will take place at the Osekam Park on the Atamills High Street in Accra, organized in honor of the late founder of the NDC and leader of the revolution. Uh, but some people said, ooh, <laughs> it's uh, John Mahama taking over this one too. Well, and then Mahama. I guess our attention was drawn to the fact that this was a collaboration. Well, so the office of the former president itself is aware of this, of this event. Well, John Mahama remains the, part, the leader of the party at the moment. I think, uh, I think that's how it works within the NDC um, until probably further notice. But there's a very worrying story there at my, myjoyonline.com. Uh, On the graphic? graphic? Yeah, mm -hmm. dot com. Um, Ethiopia, it's coming from Ethiopia, and yeah. they're saying that a Reuters camera man, uh, Kumera Gumecho, has been arrested. It's a very, you, you follow up from what happened yesterday, the story that the, I think the CNN reported about China jailing a journalist for four years, mm -hmm. and then you watch this one and you, you think that it's really uh, worrying. But Mamavia, yeah, you might want to wrap up on that. Yeah, uh, there's also a story uh, right there, Tema police investigate alleged lynching of a middle-aged man. Now, this is a 36-year-old man uh, who was lynched allegedly after his body was found in front of a shaman Pentecost church in Tama Newtown at about 7.30 on Sunday, December 27. But yesterday, uh, the story was that uh, apparently he was accused of stealing a cat. A cat? Yes. A pussycat? A, yeah. Yes, a cat. Okay. A pussycat, really. Anyway, yeah, so apparently they, uh, so there was rumor that about 10 cats have been missing in the community. And I don't know how, whether, whether they found him with a cat or not, but uh, we, we are, we are, we're glad that the police invest, is investigating. Mm -hmm. We'll see how it ends. City Newsroom. Mm. All right, uh, so here we go. Gifty? Mm. COVID-19, Africa Education Watch expresses uh, on, impresses on government to provide safety kits ahead of reopening. Now, that reopening is next month. Uh, I think by 4th of January, many people will be going back to school. So the uh, NGO, the education NGO, is calling on government to put in some efforts, you know, by providing safety kits. Well, we've seen what happened with the previous one. Uh, when we, re we reopened, many of the schools didn't have some of the things that they needed. Some had it, but were uh, damaged somehow. Hopefully, we've learned from that and we'll get a better one this time. Inve investigate death threats against Manasse and other journalists. GJA to police. That story we did yesterday. And ho hoi, police begin to investigations into assault of court bailiff. NDC yet to, f yet to be filed. Uh, yet to be, yet to file election petition in so, order. Okay, so can I help? NDC yes, is yet to do. be filed uh, election petition in, in order. order. Okay, okay, that's the NPP yes. saying. Yeah. The NPP is saying that the NDC's yet to be filed election petition is it's in order. order. All right, thank no. you for that. Um, let's move down. On that page, and there are other stories of Al Maliba, uh, the NCCE, and some other stories there as well. Savalugu, NPP youth reject the Electoral Commission's declaration of the NDC candidate. Of the NDC candidate uh, over there, there is Johnson Asiedun Ketia. Let's move on to another uh, portal right now. Take a look at the BBC, South Africa announces new restrictions as yep. cases so mama v yep uh, so that's a story that will share a bit of details it says that and uh, if we open the story you probably can hear from the south african president uh, but he's announced new tougher coronavirus restrictions a day after south africa recorded more than one million COVID 19 cases so indoor and outdoor gatherings 
uh, will be banned, a curfew introduced from 9 to 6, and alcohol sales prohibited. Do you remember this? Uh, yeah. When they put in the initial restrictions, they also banned alcohol. And, what and what the explanation is that okay. the hospitals actually get casualties from people who have over drunk, drunk alcohol exactly Thinking so they wanted to make way for COVID-19 yeah. uh, patients instead of those who have indulged in yeah. alcohol yeah. abused it yeah. so that's it's coming back I don't know what because businesses were heavily affected mm. uh, when that happened but uh, we were told at that time we were also told that there was a uh, a lot of patronage for Ghanaian alcohol or from products uh -huh. Yes, alcoholic products from Ghana because, you know, like it was in demand at the time. I mean, Jojo Kobana told me this story. <laughs> so I just wanted to be sure <laughs> that I indicated it. But anyway, um, it's yesterday was one million cases mm. in South Africa. Mm -hmm. It's certainly worrying. And that's yeah. why we all need to take a cue from um, the countries that are suffering. Yeah. Anyway, the story seemed pretty much the same as... Um, what we saw yesterday mm -hmm. so i think these are all features apart from the reuters cameraman who was arrested in ethiopia if they, if we want to go a bit more into that particular story uh the reuters cameraman being uh arrested i mean reuters is not a small media organization oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. so i don't know how uh the cameraman you know would be will be arrested so he says that uh, it, the reuters is condemning the arrest of his cameraman kumera gimeche in ethiopia saying no reason has been given for his detention his family said police handcuffed and took him away from their home in the capital Addis Ababa on thursday and seized his phone and computer police have not yet commented he covered the conflict in Ethiopia's northern Tigray region. And this conflict has been going on for a while between the Tigray and the Ethiopian forces. Um, but he was not, it was not clear whether his arrest was connected to his work, Reuters said. So we hope that they uh, let him go, mm. uh, especially if it has to do with his work. But it looks like from what the story has at the moment, we need some more details mm. to be convinced of okay. what happened. Well, if you go up, you'll see one of the big stories in America today. Mm. We know that Joe Biden takes uh, charge of the country in January 20. So that's okay. the headline there. Uh, of course, Trump has not conceded. <laughs> uh, but now Biden says that he's not getting some information, particularly from the you know, defense ministry. Oh, wow. uh, so he's not getting information even as he gets ready to transition uh, to power. That's uh, the big news from the U.S. Uh, with this headline. Sure he will. Be yeah, that's, ac or that's acceptable. And these are political actors mm. from the Trump side who are well, not, not necessarily. Not that, well, well, yeah. anyway. But, you know, you'd also have the real technocrats, the people on the ground who actually do the work, who will be happy to uh, give you information. But I, I, think, I think maybe this is like some, some sort of a crossroad for the... For the, uh, for the United States and the way they get through it will determine a lot going forward. You would have thought that like with where we've gotten to, especially when the Trump administration uh, or Mr. Trump, if you like, did not succeed uh, with his legal actions, at least he would accept that, oh, I disagree, uh, but, but okay. you know, because they say I have lost, even though I'm not convinced <laughs> that I'm lo I have lost, even the courts don't agree with me, so we have to move on. But that's not what he's done. Uh, he says, you know, who knows? He may be the next president. Okay. We'll so do, the B we'll do the CNN from the BBC? Or okay. there's something that's, that's caught your attention there? No, I was okay. going to comment on a story, com uh, a story on the vaccine. The, uh, I've, I've forgotten the country. Apparently a country, uh, Spain. Spain says it will be taking um, note of those who refuse to take the vaccine. You know, the vaccine, I think that you can't force people to take the vaccine, but they're taking note of those who refuse to take it. I don't know what they're going to do with those who refuse Ooh. to take it. But let's go on CNN. Take a look. Uh, House votes to override President's veto of defense bill. Hmm. <laughs> what was he vetoing? Uh, can we maybe just click on that story? It's, so a, this is the coronavirus, uh, the incentives, okay? okay? The packages, the monies that they were given to the, what we talked about yesterday. This is defense bill. Is that? So, yeah, oh, okay. right, that's president's veto mm. of defense bill. And that's why I wanted to figure out whether it has anything to do with the Biden thing mm. that you just uh, indicated. Okay, cool. So the story says, 
The House of Representatives on Monday voted to override President Donald Trump's vote of the sweeping defense bill known as the National Defense Authorization Act, delivering a bipartisan rebuke to the president. The bill initially passed both the House uh, initially passed both the House and Senate with veto uh, proof of majorities. But amid Trump's continued opposition, it has been unclear if the override attempt would be successful or if the veto would be sustained. Now, I, I'm interested to find out what is in this defense or uh, National Defense Authorization Act because then that will determine or that will help us understand the behavior of, uh, you know, the politicians involved in, in all of this. But, well, let's call it a wrap I on that I think it's got one. something to the effect of pay rises uh, for American soldiers, also equipment, things like that. Right. Yeah. Well, you need a little bit of time to study that to understand. Absolutely. Um, understand it. All right. Um, okay, so that's it uh, for the round trip that we've done from yeah. Ghana to America. To... Uh, we hope that you have a fair appreciation. But what it means is that uh, when we're still in the festive season, I guess what is happening every day now is probably football or sports, things mm -hmm. happening. But otherwise, in terms of general news, for us in Ghana, the biggest is we're waiting to see if the NDC, NDC goes to goes court to today court. or tomorrow, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and then we'll share the story with you. Let otherwise, mm -hmm. pretty much, we're still in celebration mode. Uh, but we are not. But we want you to. Right? Well, we are not. We're not. But we, you see, we're here to help, um, you know, people give them thought provoking subjects to think about and all of that. So one of the things we're doing is while you're at home, we want you to share your reflections with us. Maybe you haven't taken the time to reflect, but this is a chance to do so. So you can join us on Zoom and very soon we'll be sharing the Zoom link. But this is our number 0540 That's 540 one zero nine zero zero nine would love to hear from you that's, that's our, our whatsapp, WhatsApp number by exactly the way. a whatsapp plus so don't call it just send us a whatsapp message and we'll share it with the rest of the world but we want to see you on tv so we'll give you the zoom link but how has 2020 been for you gifty hmm. how has it been yeah uh, I, in I, terms I, of the news i know that we've had plenty of news yes we have yeah. we have it's been fast it's been fast for me but i i i always want the year to move faster and this one has been faster than I expected. So for me, I'll say it's been okay. I don't know why I want the year to end fast, but I, I've always had this feeling like let the days go faster. And I think that it's been a very reflective year for me. We've all taken time back mm -hmm. to look at our lives and the things mm -hmm. that matter to us, the things that don't matter, that we make big cases out of and all of that. We'll share a bit more of that um, when we return after yeah. Gary finishes. You remember the, the right? kids that Maxwell's uh, spoke, spoke to, to and shared the story <laughs> with us yesterday. I kind of had the feeling, let 2020 go away because COVID-19 will go with it. No, it won't. You know? It so won't. For we'll a long be here. time in 2020, I was looking forward to 2021. Oh. And I was looking, I was actually looking forward to a Christmas without COVID-19. Well. And it's amazing sorry, that we're now even discovering new variants of the COVID-19. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So it looks like for people like myself who had that thought, we have to think again because we're entering 2021 still with a COVID. pandemic yeah. that we haven't yeah. fully been able yeah. to defeat yeah. and we have to be cautious. But there's a lot to be thankful for. Mm -hmm. Some people wanted a uh, job change, but it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. Some people actually lost jobs. Uh, but just like the other story you shared, some people also discovered new opportunities yes. and yes. created something. Yes. Uh, but one of the things I was thinking about particularly yesterday was the fact that Charlie, I have a healthy life, you know, <laughs> and I guess above all, it is my life that I'm grateful for. And yeah. there are some little, little things that I have achieved that I probably didn't realize. Wow. And wow. It's, I guess it's good that we're doing this today because we'll, we'll remind our viewers, take the time. There are certain things that you're forgetting because you didn't get that big breakthrough. You think 2020 was a failure. It hasn't been. Preach, again. sister. Yeah, Preach we'll help you do on. that. So keep the messages coming through. We'll make for, work for Gary. He will update us on what's been happening in the world of sports. Uh, we'll start with him. He will tell us, uh, because he's also, Charlie, 2020 has been such a battle. Yeah. But there are many successes that he's also chucked. He would share all that with us. So stay with us here on the AM show. Sports is up next.
Good morning and welcome to the Sports on the AM show. My COVID-19 year has been pretty the defining has pretty much been the defining point of my year uh, because it altered the way I live my life, my you know eating patterns and all that. Um, but as Gifty said, with life, we've got to be grateful as well. And we launch into 2021 hoping for bigger and better. COVID-19 is still straddling the sporting world. Definitely still in the Ghana Premier League because uh, fans are not being allowed at matches. But there are outstanding games in the Ghana Premier League. And they, they've been cleared heading into the new year. And that's uh, according to the Secretary General of the Ghana Football Association. The FA is ready to continue to build what he described as a competitive league. The coaches will tell you, uh, the players will tell you, it's being killing fought for. We are not at 100% yet in the continuous improvement. Every time we strive to improve, in the, you can see the progression. Uh, even the players are improving, the coaches, everybody in the game uh, are very keen. Uh, after March Day 6, you, know, you can see say, uh, we are in for a really good season. Uh, very competitive season so be ready for on the 1st uh, of January 2021 where we kick in with the uh, match day 7 matches and then we'll move on from there uh, uh, to, to the end so um, we, I can only uh, say, say so far so good but like our teachers say there's room for improvement. Now, former Vice President of the Ghana Football Association, George Free, has questioned uh, the, why the Black Stars coach Siki Akono is not using a land cruiser uh, as previously ordered for any coach who will be appointed to lead the senior national team. According to him, the decision of the football governing body to hand the car to the Secretary General does not suggest an institution willing to back the coach to succeed. C.K. Akono was hired to replace Kwesi Apia following the decision of the Executive Council to dissolve the technical teams of all national teams. The former Asante Ikotako head coach has had 50% success in his career as a technical head of the senior national team. Many have alleged that the leadership of the Ghana Football Association is forcing players on the former House of Oak Gaffa, former vice president of the Ghana Football Association, George Afri, who also doubled as Black Stars Management Committee chairman, have called on the Ghana Football Association to give him the free hand and support to work. I was happy when CK Akono was appointed. Um, because then another Ghanaian coach took, takes over from Kwesiapia. That was a good thing. It's a plus. Of course, it means that we are trying to help, uh, help one of our own. I had the chance to travel with Siki Akono uh, when Kotoko played Zesco United. Yes. The night after the game, I sat in the dining ro room with him. I had then done my own analysis of the Kotoko team that plays Zesco. So I sat with him. And trust me, everything that I believe in, everything that I... I, I had put together about the Kotoko team. The coach was thinking the same. So when I came back, I granted an interview at Kotoka International Airport and I said that CK must be given the chance to continue his job because he was doing a very good job. Now, unfortunately, he was appointed the Black Star coach, somebody who deputized for Kwesi Apia. And so what I want to tell the FA that they should leave the man to work. Honestly, everybody knows that Ted had had a chance to work with uh, CK at the point he was even managing him. So if fortunately one of his own has been appointed as the head coach of the Black Stars, we need to give him all the needed support. You see, you, you cannot send somebody out there to go and perform a duty and you expect him to do well or you expect him to bring you the results. If you don't give him the needed support, what will we do for a white man? Let's do it for one of our own. Moving on to athletics, and the Secretary General of the Ghana Athletics Association, Bao Fuseni, has described 2020 as a difficult year for the sport, but he's hopeful, like all of us, of a better 2021. The year has been challenging, uh, most especially because of this COVID-19 case. <clears throat> We're not able to do a lot of our programs, and uh, the year started good. We had few, few, few sponsorship and we were able to do our first competition at the Sipon Sports Stadium. We were planning to continue with our uh, programs within the year, but COVID came and we had to abide by government rules and regulations in terms of COVID protocols. And thankfully, <coughs> the year is also ending well, because we've started 
a lot of courses. Currently, there's one ongoing course at Damongo to train the newly created regions, coaches in all the new created regions. So I, I would say it was interesting year. The beginning was good. The middle and the latter, the larger part of the year was wasn't too good, but the ending looked very good too. So it's a mix mix year, ending good, starting good, but the larger part of it wasn't too good. To boxing and the world title dream of Joseph Agbeko and Patrick Alote is on course after the deal secured impressive wins over the weekend. There's more in the following Joy Sports report. It was Agbeko's first fight in 40 months, and the talented Ghanaian boxer did not disappoint when he locked horns with Abekomi in a 10 round super flyweight contest at the Hydroweight Event Center in Dansuman here in Accra. Agbeko, who turns 41 in March next year, has now won his last nine bouts since his defeat to the then WBA junior featherweight title holder Guillermo Rigondo in December 2013. Agbeko won the IBF bantamweight title in September 2017 after stopping Luis Perez from Nicaragua. In the nice main fight, former world title challenger Patrick Alute stopped Victor Skemevo in round two of a 10-round super waterweight contest. Alute was too strong for Kemevo from the onset and did not take his foot off the accelerator and Kemevo's corner threw in the towel. The win over Kemevo was Alute's first fight since his knockout defeat to the then WBO junior middleweight title holder Jay Mangua in September last year. Football stars have been donating assorted items and money to the less privileged in society, and one of such persons is Aston Villas and a 23 coach of Ghanaian heritage, George Boating. He's put smiles on the faces of kids at, the off, at an orphanage in Teshi, where Joy Sports Asari Bidiako gives us details from. Head coach of Aston Villas under 23 team, George Boating, has donated assorted items to the Teshi Children's Home. The items include bags of rice, toiletries, drinks, bags of sachet water, cooking oil, and an undisclosed amount of money. The 45-year-old former Aston Villa midfielder said he was touched by the plight of orphans, hence his decision to make the donation. One of the reasons why I wanted to come home was obviously to visit my parents, but to do a charitable deeds for uh, people who are less, who are less fortunate. Uh, especially around Christmas time, I do feel that it's important for us to deliver something. Um, we as players slash uh, coaches have been really, really lucky with the lifestyle we, we live and the blessings that we have. And if you have that, I think it's also very important uh, that you find time to, uh, to share it with others who don't have or haven't experienced anything what you have. Um, I like children's because I, I think it always humbles me makes you emotional uh, attached with yourself um, and also the fact that they are they are so innocent uh, time spent with kids is fantastic so why not come to Teshi children's home to dedicate my time and as well as making sure that they have enough food and beverages for the coming few weeks after the donation George Bratton interacted with the kids and inspired them to pursue their dreams Continue over to Mama V and Gifty here. Yeah. Gary, stay with us because, you know, we're taking a reflection of this year 2020. It's been such a battle. How would you sum it up for yourself? First of all, I think that I have no idea <laughs> how many things have happened from a professional point of view, story-wise, mm. and from a personal point of view. And I got an idea last night because there's a new Netflix um, feature that you'll be hearing about very soon because it's it's making waves it's okay. called death by 2020 mm. and it's death by 2020 death by 2020 and um, it's being marketed as a mockumentary <laughs> so it's a documentary that is mocking 2020 mm. so it's a very satirical look at the year you know written with real footage mm -hmm. and then some acting footage so there's Samuel L. Jackson who is casted as a newspaper reporter for the New York Times. Mm. So he's running us through the year from January to December, mm. picking out the highlights, and um, there are a couple of people who are running commentary alongside it. Now, the first thing that gets into my mind is that by the time they get to February, 
I'm like, the number of new stories that have passed between January and February. So let me give you one highlight, mm. Mama V. Okay. Do you remember that the biggest thing we're talking about in January by this time was the Australian fires? Yeah. Oh. Yes, it was this year. The Australian fires were this year. It actually feels like two years ago. It feels like, it was like two years ago. And <laughs> it was the biggest thing because we yeah. thought it was going to be, you know, Australia had it, Brazil had fires. Yeah. And then, and COVID-19 was, was a footnote, you know. And so, yeah, uh, if you watch that mockumentary, it gives you an idea of how many stories have mm. come and gone. I'm interested in the pest now on. Mine? Well, uh, obviously, COVID was a big deal for me, uh, even professionally, because it colored the way my year went. And uh, personally, also, it, it changed the way I, I, I have to live, you know, because I'm more careful about so many things now. And uh, especially from... Gary, I just want to put you on the spot. A yeah. Bit. <laughs> now, you, was, you were one of the people who put it out there that you had contracted COVID-19. Mm. I mean, it was... I, I want to get into your head at the time. Feel free, it's okay. You know, usually when things happen, you don't really... You feel like it, it, it won't come to you. Like, you don't feel that close. Yeah. So I, I want to just step a bit into your mind. Take me there. Well, so I started reporting like all of you did. Mm. Um, on the 12th of March when we had the first case. And I was keeping a keen eye on it because in my mind, I knew it would come here, All right? <laughs> so, because having monitored the trends- have a lot of people here, yeah. Yeah, I, I knew it would come to Ghana. When I say here, ah, I mean right. Ghana, not okay. small okay. <laughs> uh, I knew it would come to Ghana. But I mean, yeah. Yeah, monitoring the trends from around the world, it was quite inevitable that it was a question of when and not if. Yes. So I was, sort of ready for it in terms of an informational point of view. Mm. Of course, I was not ready to, to, to contract it myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what did that happen? Um, and you know, interesting, Gary, because you're very active and you're given updates on Facebook. You yeah. monitor the weekly uh, yeah. press yeah. updates on COVID. And I'll and give some reviews exactly. and all that. Yeah. So essentially, I was very careful because the only two places I was frequenting were home and work. Mm. I, I just cut 90% of my move, movement drastically between these two places. So I didn't think that I'll get it because I mean, I'm, I'll get into my car, I drive, come in here, but yeah, yeah. COVID gonna COVID. Yeah. So um, one day I, I couldn't taste my food, like I said, I've said many times. One morning I was going to take my bath and I realized I couldn't smell the, um, dis the disinfectant and the soap, mm. which I mean, I use, I like Alatasamna, you know, mm. fair people, it's problems. <laughs> Um, so after that, I just quietly went to the kitchen where there was some banku and shit waiting for me. And uh, when I couldn't taste... Marriage is good. When I couldn't <laughs> taste the <laughs> shit and I couldn't, uh, I knew that I was in trouble. So Whoa. at Did the time... Did you start panicking though? No, 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 no. Again, because, you know, when you're empowered with information, it makes things bearable. Okay. So I was just mentally doing the checklist and I contacted our HR uh, because by that time, if you recall, they had put in a contingency in place mm. where you contact HR and then they gave me a contact at uh, Mamobi Polyclinic. Yeah. So I went there, had my test. I was told that I'll get my test in a few days. And so um, on a Friday, it was about three days later, on a Friday I was called and uh, when the lady said, I'd like to speak to you about your COVID test, uh, but I would want to see you. I said, okay, then I have it. That's a positive. And, uh, that, <laughs> this, that, that's why you say at this juncture. But, but, but Gary, let's wrap this up. Yeah. Through it all. What has been good to wrap up? Mm. Well, what has been good is that, like you mentioned as well, I have, I've always had a keen sense of what is important and who is important. But I think that um, as at this time, today is what, the 30th? 29th. Right? 29th. 29th. We've got two and more days. days. Two mm. more days. I'm being like gifty. I want the year to end. I know, right? Um, <laughs> I have a sense now of what is important. <laughs> And who is important? <laughs> you know, I've come to realize that there are there are things more important than the things uh, yeah, that are important. Yeah, yeah. the important has died me. Oh yeah. <laughs> me. And then hopefully we, we all have a sense of who in our lives are important. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. And and, and oh. I, I definitely have taken my wife more seriously. I mean, oh. not, not to say that. You know, so, um, I, I don't miss an opportunity to appreciate her, especially my wife. 
and to and to make her feel that I mean she's the boss because she's the boss. She, yeah. Charlie. You know, it's interesting. We've known that she's the boss, but usually, you know, they don't know that they're the boss. Exactly. <laughs> so these days, the silent boss. Yeah. Okay. So more. Well. So we've seen the importanter and the importantest. That one. The arguments have four flats. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Oh my god. <laughs> I love that line. I love that line. Gary, well. it's been good. It's been good. I mean, um I my, my my producers, I mean the people that I worked with directly were all uh all happened to be positive at a point I was negative. In fact, before I went for the test, Evans was like, As for you, it's inevitable. <laughs> <laughs> he said, As for you, it's inevitable. I mean, you, if you were you are negative, then it's a miracle. <laughs> and indeed a miracle did happen. Um, you know, it, it, Gary is fair. Those of us who are dark, eh, what too? So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so and, and let me just say this: yeah. um, those who ever are manufacturing the vaccines, you know, mm -hmm. Pfizer, just in case they bring it to Ghana and maybe Kina Pharma or Tobinku are having their versions or whatever it is, mm -hmm. please go to my house, check my wife, because like, something very interesting. I had chicken pox about four years ago. My wife basically nursed me for the entire two, three weeks at chicken pox. I mean, same house, same room. Mm. She didn't get it. Okay. She didn't get it. But she's never gotten it because I hear something like if you ever got it. No, no, no. She, she's not gotten it she's before and she didn't get it. I had right. COVID. Different I mean, immune system. I was with her. I mean, you can understand. Before yeah. I, yeah, because it's oh, impossible. We know, we know, we it's know. impossible when you have a, love, a loved one who tests positive. It's difficult to say, no, she didn't, isolate in a different She didn't place. get it as well. So okay. at this juncture, I'm saying that they should, go to my, they should like, find her blood. That woman's blood's got something I don't understand. <laughs> like I can get the flu. I mean, we are on the same bed, and she won't get it. She won't get it. Yeah. So God has given you a good match. Yeah, I've met your meter. Yeah, for real. Perfect. But amazing story. Amazing yeah. story. But you see, it tells you when you begin to highlight the good parts. You know, the parts that uh, gives you the feeling of gratitude. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. always have a better feeling for tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's been a very hard year for all of us. Gary, we don't want to take any more of your time, I think. Um, we're going to make way for our uh, viewers yeah. so that they can also tell us how it has been um, for them. I remember discussing this story in the newsroom and I had a fight with, um, with Evans. Uh, Evans. This was in China at the time. And I said, look, this is, this is a, a pandemic. And, and at that time, CNN hadn't even... Um, you know, they, call, on they, 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 they described this as a pandemic before the WHO did. Oh, okay. Because they felt that the WHO was wasting time. And I saw this thing. And because my, my, my MA thesis focused on um, Ebola. Okay. How the UK covered Ebola. So I did a little bit of work on, you know, um, health crisis reporting. Mm. And so when you look at the way it started and the spread, the way it was spreading so fast, you could tell how fast this thing could go. So I said, this thing is a big deal. Mm. I mean, it's in China, but this thing, the way it's spreading. Yeah. And Evans, you know Evans. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he sort of right. makes it, I mean, I think he just creates a space for you to defend the point that you're making a bit more. And it was like, no, 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 no. So, I mean, it, we went it on and on. It sounded far away. It did. Truthfully. It did. And, and then, we were just watching and yeah. listening to the report. And then he was we the were... first person to come here with gloves. <laughs> <laughs> but Gifty, listen, I think you've just reminded me because we were talking to uh, citizens in school in China. Remember, we had... Yes. A lot of conversations yes. of yes. foreign students yes. in China. Those we're trying to, to find come. out how they were. Yeah, they wanted to come back. Yeah. They wanted yeah. the government of Ghana to pick them up because I think South Africa had done that. Yeah. The beginning of it was very, it sounded very far from it, us. It was a normal, yeah. it was the normal, you know, news thing. It's yeah. happening elsewhere. Then we were, the, then in March, I mean, it, it was it was funny. That was really like funny. lonely press conference with the health minister <laughs> In the and night. information minister. Yeah. And I don't envy the health minister at all. You We've could come tell. Very far. Yeah, we have. But we God have. has been good to us. Certainly, certainly. So, Mamavi, if I may, uh, maybe some of the messages that we've received so far. I just want to start with this one. He was providing a little bit of information on the NDC story. He says it's JB in Mamubi. He says I should tell, okay, Mamavi that. But <laughs> <laughs> per the NDC constitution, the moment the party goes into election, the Chairman becomes the leader. So on record, John Mahama is now the former presidential candidate of the NDC and not the leader. So thank you very much for that bit of information there. But most of you are sharing also with us what happened uh, for you, how 2020 has been. Mm. 
Padmo says, uh, Padmo Opoku Adumako from Bepo Ashanti. 2020 has been both good and harmful. Uh, but, but fortunately for me, the good has been good hey, to me than harm. I escaped a lot of bureaucratic procedures due to COVID-19. <laughs> is that <laughs> what? What well. procedures? So, you know, people were loosening the processes you have to go through yeah. to get things done. Yeah. He's saying that he escaped a lot of bureaucratic <laughs> <laughs> processes. Um, uh, so COVID was, was good to, to, to him. Okay, Mama V, I'm handing over to you now. We'll come back to this. We'll come back. So keep the messages coming through. We'll also get on Zoom so that we all can have a conversation on how this year has been. But first... It's just four minutes after eight is not a holiday, people. <laughs> yeah, it's a working day. <laughs> Listen, between today and we've got two more days to end the year, uh, CEOs and managers and supervisors, hear me out. There'll be a <laughs> lot of your workers who'll be calling in sick. <laughs> All sorts of excuses. It is a trick because it feels like a holiday, like you don't want to go to work. All right. We're reflecting on the year 2020 now, like mixed back for those of us in Ghana. Uh, we started off, COVID was not part of our, mm -hmm. of, of our, it wasn't part of our diet. It wasn't part <laughs> of our menu. There were no protocols. We were only reporting what was happening far away in China at the time. And then here we are, fast forward the months. And then in December, it's been COVID, 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 COVID. Yep. But through it all, uh, some of us went to school and graduated. Uh, some of us got jobs. We started some businesses. Many some people got married. Go well. Oh, yes. <laughs> people do. Yeah. And then even the marriage, Nikra, the budget was beautifully cut because of COVID. <laughs> so you reduced the numbers. You took food out and only did cocktails. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So there's Zoom some weddings. positive things. Zoom weddings, you know, <laughs> you know, which was really cool. Really, really, really cool. So we're going to have you join us on Zoom to share those stories with us especially the highs the lows so we can talk about the lessons going forward and um, mamavi should i go ahead with the messages i have on the yes, flash while we wait to... yeah okay so join us on zoom and send your messages to us on whatsapp okay uh the uh, zoom link is right there on your screen right okay and you already know the whatsapp number so a few messages coming in this one says good morning to you all this year has been bad to me actually because i got attacked by armed robbers seven months uh, which i ended up in rage hospital spent oh sorry spent all my savings and now i'm back to hohoi my home just after being discharged weeks ago the lali is in hohoi mama you, you want to give oh us, yeah give i want the lali, i want to tell you that it's been horrible with the experience that you shared but listen one thing you didn't you didn't say but which i see is you have life you did suffer a lot you went through hospital on admission but you're back and you have life which means you can start again and God has not forgotten you. So we thank God for your life, really. We do. Yeah. Delali there. This one says, this year really came as a surprise. My expectations not really met. But it helped me to rediscover the entrepreneurial skills I had. 2021 will have to go my way by force. Because 2020 <laughs> has shown me the worst. You didn't add your name. Oh, Mensa GH from Mount <laughs> All right, that sounds good. That sounds good. It has to be good by force. Mama, let's get on Zoom. Okay, so let's say hello. Good morning to our friends uh, on Zoom. But we have some rules. So here are the ground <laughs> rules. Uh, keep yourself uh, on mute uh, until we call you because we can't all be speaking at the same time. So we want to have a fruitful conversation. So let's start. Uh, let's see who I am starting with. iPhone. Okay, so who has the iPhone? Oh, iPhone has just gone off. Yes. Okay, so oh, oh, yeah, I can back see on. you. Good morning to you, Mr. iPhone. Tell us your name and quickly reflect on this year, 2020. Hello, Mr. iPhone. Hello, our friend with the iPhone. Yeah, we see you smiling, so talk to us. Unmute yourself, please, and talk to us. Yeah, I'm sure he sees himself on the TV. <laughs> Unmute yourself, then you, when you talk, we can hear you. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna Maybe we should go to our friend connection. with the chewing stick. Oh. <laughs> 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 let's, get, let's get our so we're, we're just reflecting on the year 2020 we have 
We have some friends joining us okay. uh, via Zoom, but obviously because it's technology, we can have it all stable. So we're just going to manage it. In the meantime, we'll have messages on WhatsApp that Gifty will yes, be sharing yes, with yes, us. Yes, 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 yes. We do have messages on WhatsApp. So those of you who are calling, here is the thing. Okay, when you call... call WhatsApp number? No, no, I mean the okay. uh, those who are do, joining us via Zoom. Just make sure that you are in a well-lit place so that we can see your face so that the people who are monitoring you, the people that you have sent proposals to, you know, the men, they can see you, feely, feely, <laughs> you know. And also just make sure that you're a bit stable because your movement sometimes makes it difficult for us to uh, be able to follow you. And unmute when you are talking or when you have been uh, 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 called to talk. Okay, this one says, ju was justice, okay, you're talking about the Supreme Court issues. We just want to reflect on the year. <laughs> My name is Evans, 2020, even though challenging, I agree with Mama V in thanking God for good health. It makes me have the energy to still work in the community I find myself. He says, I also thank God for placing me in a job that was able to sustain us amidst the COVID-19 impact. I pray for those who lost their jobs to be sustained and favored by God. Evans, thank you so much for Amen. your message. This is really yeah. uh, a, touching, a touching one. All right, we'll go to Zoom now. Let's speak to Dennis. Dennis, good morning to you. Kindly unmute yourself. Say good morning back to us and go straight away reflecting on the year. Uh, Gifty, good morning to you and uh, good morning to the cherished listeners of joining us. Yes, good morning. Hello. Please go ahead. How has the yeah, year treated please, you? Uh, yeah, please. Um, it is with a heavy heart this morning uh to to speak to you because watching the documentary i i just so dennis you are talking about the techiman south story that we shared with you yeah y yes okay. I'm, I'm talking about the techiman south okay the documentary okay you know we we have a we have a president in this country and ever since this um this incident happened, you will never hear or see our president, who is the leader in this country, coming out to speak to this issue uh, or coming to condemn the, uh, the activities that happened at the National South Coalition Center. It is, it is just very, 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 very So I take it that this is your law? Uh, Dennis, I take it that this is so we're sharing the our highs and our lows in the year 2020. Is that a low for you? Is that your low for 2020? Yes. Yes, okay. yes, it is it is very, very low. Okay. Dennis, thank you very much for reflecting with us this morning. Dennis thinks that for the president, uh, President Kufaro should speak. If that hasn't happened, he feels it is a low. Mm. Next person. Yeah, we'll go to Galaxy Tab A. If that is your tool, kindly, uh, oh, in the bus address, kindly unmute yourself and then say good morning to us. Good morning, Amadi and then uh, Yuki. Good morning. Uh, What's your name, yeah, please? My name is Banabat Gulari. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, uh, thank you for giving us opportunity to also I mean, share our, our low and high. Our, our low and the high this year. You know, one thing that I'm very, very sad is about the the view, the documentary you just showed. Is very, one watching it, I'm very sad about it because I'm very sad that since uh, this uh, incident happened, I've never heard a, a, a message from the president, the fair gentleman of the land, condemning or saying something about it. It didn't cause maybe the, according to the documentary, it was NDTV, NDTV report, that's why he hasn't commented, or because he just think that uh, those, those people that lost their lives is not important. And, and, and one thing about, uh, Sister Gifty said something that I wasn't happy about. Not that I wasn't happy because he said that he heard uh, there, there was an, um, there was an, uh, a radio station who, who announced that the people should mass up there. So let's say that if you see, like, like you see a lady who just uh, maybe shot, you say because the, because the lady have just shot, 
to give you the, the audacity to go and rape that lady. No. The people, okay. the security people were sent there to go and um, protect their property. Like the woman did and then the, the battle of Okay. Goes. I think your point is well, I mean, it's your, it's, it's well made. Is that your law for I mean, the year? Yes. 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 Okay. That, 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 that's a very low for me. That okay. the president has no comment about it. It's okay. very, very sad. All right. And, and yeah. Okay. You. All right. We have other friends. So we want to make it really brief. Yes. Uh, when you speak. Uh, I didn't hear Bobo Kala, did I? No, Prof. Okay. <laughs> Prof Kala. <laughs> Apologies. Prof Kala, good morning to you. Kindly unmute yourself. And let's talk about how you, you see 2020. How has it treated you? Well, thank you very much. Hello. Yes, hi, Prof. We can hear you. Go on ahead. Mm, good morning. Good morning. Uh, hmm. This country, I don't know, either there are highs. <laughs> oh, but in your personal, personal life, life, your yeah. personal life, yeah. <laughs> they are always loose. But, no, because <laughs> we, we, want to, we want to focus on the highs <laughs> so that it gives us hope for the next year, which is yeah. just a few days away. So, I mean, let's try and focus yeah. a little bit on the things that uplift our spirit, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, my high is the moment I still wake, I wake up a day and then see that I'm alive. Mm. That is my high. Great. Yeah. But. Oh, go ahead yes, and share your head with us. You're on air. We I'm want to hear there. the low now so we can move on. <laughs> yeah, my low is the few things that just happens this year. Concern our electoral commission, commission, the way they collected the resources, uh, especially with the touchiness of uh, the uh, case. Uh, I mean, let us let us respect the constitution. The constitution is clear with some of these laid down rules. Let's go by them, and that is all. I mean, mm. to go around things and then turn things in favor of someone. When everybody has bear witness to the happiness, okay, it doesn't okay. sound well. So, all right, yo, so these are your the these are your suspicions. We appreciate yeah. it. Thank you for sharing your thoughts yeah. with us. Yeah. Uh, we have to move on, though. Yeah. Uh, so thank you. Let's move on. Thank Let's go to much. Infinix uh, Hot, Hot Nine. Nine. You are in a white <laughs> shirt. And kindly wear a shirt when, when you come on television, okay, so we can speak to you. There are some people who don't have shirts. Oh, yeah, the reason why we're making this announcement, please grab a shirt and put it on. So let's start yeah. with one of those who have the shirts on, Infinix Hot 9. Mm. Good morning. Please unmute yourself and go ahead and tell us about how the year has treated you. Are you the one with the baby? No, please. Okay, all right, great. What's your name, please? Mm. Hello, good morning. My name is Jerry Dominic. Okay, Jerry, Hi, Jerry. how has 2020 treated you? Uh, 2020 has been an amazing year. Wow. Even with COVID and all its associated uh, complications, God has been good and we are here, mm. yet and still alive. Mm. So I think it has been an amazing year especially for the media, the way you've uh, gone about doing your business, even in COVID time, mm -hmm. uh, giving us uh, information, accurate information and reports throughout this year. It has been an amazing year. Mm -hmm. And how you covered the election too, with its ups and downs, I think all in all, it has been an amazing year. Okay. And one of the lowest for me, is uh, I prepared well for exams, and during the exam week, I was so sick I was not able to oh. uh, write the exam I was supposed to write, and it has been one of my lowest year. Oh. And I'm praying that next year everything will be fine. Amen. Oh, listen, we, we pray with you, okay? We pray with you. Gift is a very prayerful person, so she will remember you in her prayers. And may 2020, 2021 be an even better year. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. Uh, let's speak to another friend of ours who's joined us on Zoom. Huawei. 
Y7 Prime blue shirt. <laughs> okay, there you are on TV. Yay! <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> so tell us your name Good and morning. like Mamavi will ask, how has 2020 been for you? Good morning, Mamavi. Okay, uh, okay. Good, good morning, but we have a little tiny problem. Kindly put the volume on your television off, okay? Kill the volume on the television sets so we don't get the feedback. <laughs> There are noise at the background. I don't know if... Is it from yours? Okay, so this may not be from you. Go okay. ahead. All right. Go ahead, please. Yeah. Good morning once again to morning. everyone. Mm -hmm. Morning. And Merry Christmas and then Happy New Year to everybody. Thank you. In fact, uh, the year 2020 has been an experience one which we've never had before as in the whole wide world and they're in Ghana. But we thank God for giving us some of us life mm. and then the good health throughout yeah. the challenges of the COVID and then through the election in, in electionary programs, ID card registration with its complications. But with it all, we have come out successfully with few problems here and there. But I hope we, we, we shall overcome all these challenges and we build one Ghana. Sure. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so <laughs> much. Uh, listen, we'll come back to our friends on Zoom. Uh, let's cross over and go to our colleague, Manuel Kranting, who is roving around circles, still talking about reflections of 2020 so let's hear other people also share their stories manuel salut sir how's it going how's it going sir okay so manuel manuel will be joining us from the new York plant station to be specific as we all reflect on the year 2020 we'll all describe it differently manuel take it over so I am at the uh, VIP station here um, in Accra. Well, travelers, some are arriving from uh, various parts of the country and others also uh, moving out of Accra to their, you know, uh, various destinations. And really, uh, you know that 2020 has been one of the most eventful years that, uh, you know, we've seen in recent times uh, from COVID-19, to issues of road accidents and carnages. Uh, there have also been what um, um, some number of highway robberies. And in general, there are so many things that you remember uh, from 2020. Of course, there have been some high points also um, with successful elections and so on and so forth. Uh, of course, we know that there's um, a, 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 an election petition at the uh, just around the corner which may uh, be filed by the opposition NDC and so on. But what are the general sentiments of the people in Ghana as regarding how the year went? Well, if there is any place in Accra that you're going to get, uh, you know, a cosmopolitan feature of people from different walks and different parts of the country, but that is the VIP station. And I'm here, let me just speak to this uh, woman here. Madam, good morning. Morning. I'm Emma Fisher, Apo. I've been I've been I've been I've been I've been I've been Anko ye? Mm. Anko ye, sasa. Then they see a film. Eh, si kasamu no anko ye. Si kasamu anko ye. Uto adi a ento bibi a basa. Ndi ya 2021. Ndi ya dunia mbe. She says that the year didn't really go well for her. Issues of financing, and uh, you know, uh, she she says she's a trader, and when she sells, people don't buy. Interesting to to note that. But uh, and then also uh, say Emma 2020, you know, of course ah ah o o tonga dia na yento. Kolona kaho. Then Kolona. Kolona. Eh eh. Emma bibia e basa. O tonga dia yento. If you say ni pa mbakrum, if you say oba, if you say. Yalian Batan in tea or chef ye in tea be a bassa in tea and fed you twenty twenty one. Yan fed you yam bay. But say a anya shake crown or you go so on quan ah nipatias. Ya will be be a uoska, a uon quan uoska. Uon quan uoska in tea and fed you yam bay. 
Oshania oh, oh, yeah, Ebe. Eh, let, let, me, let me speak to this man. Well, she's telling me that, well, it didn't go well for her, but I mean, where there's life, there's definitely uh, hope for more. And eh, let me speak to this man. My boss, good morning. Good morning, sir. Uh, how's it going? Fine. Uh, wh where are you coming from? Mm, Techiman. You're coming from Techiman? Yeah. Are you going or you're not coming? I'm going. You're, you're going. So you, you live in, uh, in Techiman. What do you come to do in Accra? Besra, my boss, and for. Besra, my boss, and for. Ebro, and all. But you're not going to teach you, dear, but. I just have to go to the house. I'm going 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Me turn fools. Me turn fools. Yeah, top hand. Touch mine. Yeah, top hand. Hmm. Of course, we're in this first, not the. Hmm. So no, we be manage. Well, well, this uh, gentleman tells me that he's also a trader. Um, he's coming from Tichiman. He actually came to visit his family in Accra and is now returning uh, to Tichiman. Uh, he mentions that, well, um, there were some low points in the year for him, as I earlier indicated. Uh, le let me speak to this woman. Have a good morning. How's it going? Fine. Uh, uh, me Merry Christmas to you. Many happy return. H how's the Christmas been anyway? It's been nice. It's been nice. Yeah. Everything has been been. been nice. Though we all know 2020 has been a tough year for everybody because of the outbreak of the pandemic. But so far so good. We've seen almost to the end of the year. We are hoping 2021 will be better than 2020. Mm. I mean, when you reflect on the happenings of 2020, what does it make you think? Hmm. 2020. In fact, I don't know, but as I said, it's been tough for everybody. Businesses, even the whole country, students are home, business is not going on. So we are hoping 2021 will be better. 2021, and it's interesting that you mentioned the students at home. Do you have any ward in school? Sure, I have kids. Okay, which levels are they all squared? Um, class 1 and KG. Yeah. So, so I've, I've been dealing with them at home, and we, we know that. I mean, when when school is in session, at least you have some eight to five free break, if you like, mm -hmm. uh, that you can you can dedicate to yourself. Not their home. You have to deal with them the whole day. How does that work out for you? You see, we have to go to work. The kids are at home. As parents, it's been tough moving them from one auntie to grandma just to cater for them so that we can go to work. So we are hoping. 2021 school will resume so that they can go and that we can also concentrate when we go to work. But, but the, the ending part of the year was characterized by an election, like electioneering, massive electioneering, uh, you know, processes, even in the face of COVID-19. Um, how did that go for you as, I mean, did you vote? Yeah, I did vote. Okay, so, I mean, how did that go for you? Well, um, the election process was smooth because the long queues that we used to experience those days, you go to the pool and then it's just a queue of five, ten. I, my constituency, when I went, when I voted, there was no queue. So the election was smooth. It's just that there are hitches here and there with some constituencies. Yeah. And, and yeah, yeah, these are just uh, your signals uh, showing that people are leaving Accra, uh, moving to various parts um, of the country. They're honking, they're in, and so on. So great, uh, great talking to you, absolutely. Uh, safe journey also. Uh, let me try and speak uh, to a few more people. Um, I see them trying to settle uh, bills of uh, their, their, their parties. My boss, good morning, how's it going? Fine. Great, uh, what, what, do you work here? No. You don't work here, what, you're traveling? Yeah. Okay, where are you going to? I'm going to Konongo. Konongo? Yeah. Okay, what, what, what's happening at Konongo? What, what's happening at Konongo? Oh, talk to me, just talk to me. What, what's happening to, at Konongo? Oh, everything is cool. Okay, you work there? Yeah. Okay, I see. What, but, but tell me, how has 2021, let's look into the camera, how has 2021 been for you? Oh. Uh, 2020, how has 2020 been for you? Oh, fine. 
Things well. Now, oh, she has to be a fine. Mm, be normal. Be yeah, okay. And then out on. Yeah. And then out. Yeah, shop. Oh, yeah, shop. Mm, be a shop. 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 Be a all right, I see. Uh, great. Let me let me try and uh, speak to uh, a few more people here, and and, and we'll, we'll wrap it up very shortly. But I mean, in this hub is also um, some action, some activity that happens. People sell, people buy, and so just beyond uh, the just beyond the uh, sort of um, you know traveling that happens, also. Uh, trading activities. Mommy, my official pool. Then what met me? I'm not affinity. I sent an aqua mouth. I feel yes, I quite real man to one be our minimum vision. I quite ya my. And I said, W. Oh, ah, me the man and coupon. Any other man and coupon. I miss our shop and saw my affair better minimum bushia. When he be on to you. Now make us say, maybe I may be so say, er, catch me, em, say. Ade ba ko ankasa obe kai e wo 2020 a ade ben na we kai. Se ade ame kai mi se. Ade oko lockdown. Lockdown e ko e bai. Ade ame kai wo 2020 mi se lockdown mi na mi papa free. Lockdown mi na papa free. Ani e ma o ya ko. Nti e no make e ne time bi e do sabre e ame kai. Anytime be I do so, na. Eh, na two years ni, twenty second na mi mami si free. Nti afi be I do a mi po afi no. Mi da nyami asa sa abetu mi mumbat. Meni nje. Eh wa afi mumu. Asa say e wa unkwani di na chese. Asa da. Asa da wo. Na na oko twenty twenty one mono. Then na e si wo twenty twenty a. Wo ube kase amau nim di be a odi be rat twenty twenty one. Hmm. Nim di a mami ni se. Some of them come with you. Some of you are here to come and live. Simpa, I am not saying I am so unboy. I was twenty twenty one. No, it is me who come here. Now, Kuala Lumpur. Simpa, I will be on here now. And Kuala Lumpur, my mom pay mom. I say, after twenty twenty one, baby, I am on my way to school. I am not saying he am. And so you get an indication that for a lot of the parents that we speak to over here, um, there's a picture of they wanting the schools to be reopened for their kids to return to school and continue their um, academic activities. Of course, the uh, very you know low points with lockdowns and the crushing really of business uh, activities um, has been telling really on on the things that they've been telling me. Mami, who took my answer? me ko B. Who B? Any more kwansu juju? Yeah, that's it. So say only a kasai. I just speak to uh, just this section quickly, and then I'll hand over back to you um, in uh, the the studios uh, this morning. Uh, let, let, let me speak to mommy. Uh, morning, morning. What you be about call there? Oh, very well. I mean, no one kasa. Not mo 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 going. Me dey me a worker. Oh yeah, worker. Oh yeah, driver now. There be me a porter. Oh yeah, porter. Now 2020, no, I send a command. Oh, koye pa, koye. Pressure no so na no thing, but on the bus, bus is in the door so ninety. I'm a pressure now, I'm a more. On the can also the can be my pressure about pa. And since I'm here to make koye, yeah, she will be also fair, fair, fair. Uh, so he's just telling me that well for their operations i mean it, it's been okay for them but maybe i should just uh, ask about um the, maybe i should sit beside them and then we talk uh you said lockdown you buy you know you can say intercity travels no you know you can pass my boxes and you can be free yeah you can't get in your boxes in there uh lockdown you buy you can't get in your copy me saying nasa kasa say you beat my age man i ain't it is no yes i did and she said you know so good i can't prepare person or can't say you know Mm. Great. So that's uh, being the interaction from here at the uh, VIP station in Accra. Um, you know, a mixed bag of people with varied backgrounds, some moving from Accra, some coming uh, back to Accra. But generally, um, of course, some high points of the introduction of technology. Of course, Zoom is now a thing because of COVID-19 and all that. Generally, uh, you know, mixed reactions from here um, at the VIP station. Back to you in the studio. Hey, answer this. How has 2020 been for you? Uh, 2020, you also started roving. <laughs> and it became a joy new star. 
looks like we've lost him. No, yeah, it looks like uh, uh, Manuel cannot hear me, but he'll definitely answer that question uh, before the year ends, though. Uh, Gifty, we have to we have Jumping to go onto Zoom. <laughs> Jumping onto Zoom. We've got so many people, and I'm excited to see all of you on TV. You, just, you should take a screenshot and put it on your status. <laughs> okay, so who do we have at this point? I think we're going to Philip. Aren't Philip, we? Philip, Philip, Philip. Oh, okay, uh, Philip will come. Philip will come to you, but Manuel is apparently um, answering my question. Manuel, let's hear uh, you. <laughs> uh, 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 defining. <laughs> defining. <laughs> Great, so I'm saying that 2020 for me has been defining, and of course, it gave an opportunity for me to be uh, stretched and increase my capacity. <laughs> and even though, you know, there might have been some low points, it's been generally a winner for me. And grateful to the team I join you and the team everywhere who keep supporting. But maybe, uh, we can't be any less grateful, can we? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Well, Manuel, join see you pretty shortly. Uh, maybe we can have a party before the year ends because God has been awesome to us. Let's go to Philip on Zoom now. Uh, our friends on Zoom, we're back with you. Thank you for uh, holding on and thank you those who have also joined. Philip. Good morning to you. Unmute yourself. Tell us how 2020 has treated you. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> yes, good, Hello. good morning, Phil. We can yes. hear you. So let's just yes, go good for morning. it. Yes, I'm calling from, I'm Philip Dia. I'm calling from Kumasi. Uh, my story has been a mixture of fun. I remember before the announcement of <laughs> Oh, hello, hello uh, Philip, go I'm ahead. The private screen, Kumasi. So, unfortunately, the announcement came at once, and we have to uh, keep all our food, everything was on, on hold, and there was nothing we could do with it. So, it became a big, a big problem for us. But, fortunately for us, when the lockdown came, mm. I decided to use the food kept at the school store for ourselves. And, it was so much disaster for us. So for those of us running private schools, mm. we are totally at a loss. And most of us are very in a very serious situation yeah. now. Mm. But fortunately, some of us were able to get some uh, little support from the government just recently. So that is how 2020 went for us, my yeah. sister. Oh. Yeah, Philip, we appreciate But thank you. You know, you're still up even though it hasn't been all positive in the year 2020. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. Uh, we have to move on, though. And Dennis? Next, yeah. Oh, Effa Daniel, yes. Give tea. Yes. Hi, Mr. Mr. Effa Daniel. Thank you for joining us. So how has 2020 been for you? Yeah, 2020, I will name this year as an escape year. Escape year. Why? Yeah, it's an escape year because of, you know, the events that actually happened. It's an escape year in this time. What transpired? So somebody, somebody's, uh, somebody has not muted. Somebody has not muted and it's given us a very bad feedback. Uh, let's mute. If you are not talking, mute so that we can focus on one person quickly so we can come to you. Otherwise, we'll have to keep interrupting and that takes away the time. We're almost getting uh, close to the, to the end of the show. So, Ms. Efa, go ahead. You said you would name it uh, Experience Year. No, oh, an escape, escape, year. escape year. An escape year. Yes. Yeah, because of what transpired. When you look at what transpired generally with the COVID-19, um, with a major event that happened in the world at large, and Ghana in specific, you see that it will be an escape year. Mm. Because let us look at um, the economy with the COVID-19, the shutdown that came, though, Ghana was lucky we did not have uh, a lot of death as far as the COVID is concerned comparing to other countries. But you realize that um, it has affected us in a very big way. Let's go to the education sector. As I'm speaking, we still have students who have not yet completed their uh, semesters and, you know, terms. And we are looking forward to go to the next year with yeah. these um, students. Yeah, so okay. 
they have you know missed a period in their life or a year in yeah, their life and this okay yeah in addition right. to other things that i can escape yeah. absolutely set down we also have you know a lot of things happening there when we look at the economic status of the country today okay yeah that, that's a point you've yeah. made already so we I'm have a sure lot of people on zoom right now um, and we have to make it brief, as brief as possible, so yeah. that we can accommodate everybody else before we run out of time. Yeah, Mr. Mm Ifa, -hmm. thank you so much. Yaya Redwan is our next uh, speaker at this point. Yaya, 2020, the highs and the lows, if you have any, do share with us. Well, for me, 2020 has been a great year, and it has been a mixture of so many experiences. Hmm. First of all, the coronavirus. That happened. Um, it gave everybody in the world a certain message. One, we in Africa and in the developing countries that somehow would have felt that, somehow would have felt that we couldn't survive without mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. certain things from the Western world. Coronavirus has taught us to look within and see what we can actually do. You could remember during that time we had opportunity to eat what we grew. We had opportunity to socialize, bond more. People that you usually would ignore, your family members, you came together during this period. And that was a very, very great time. Right. The second thing is that the year ended in a certain way um, with regards to our elections, which I think um, is, is a very, very big dent on the election, I mean, on, on this country, because it looks like Ghana was touted as a beacon of democracy, the beacon of, I don't know whether at this moment, we can still hold ourselves as a beacon of democracy in Africa anymore. Okay. So I think that whatever it would take, we all need to make compromises, both the incumbent government and the opposition party, we all need to make compromises to make sure that our country stays as it was, if okay. not progress more. Okay. So I think 2020 has been a mixture. Yeah. Everything. All right. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Yaya, for sharing. Uh, let's go to uh, uh, the next person be sharing with us, Amano Ansa. A very good morning to you. Kindly unmute and tell us how 2020 has treated you. And I think that most of us are talking about the election, which is great. But if you can give us your personal stories that inspire other people, I would love to hear something like that. Okay, Ms. Ansa. Okay, so it looks like the, the connection to you is not so great. There's a lot of breaks in that. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can try again. Say hello again, let's see. Can you hear me now, Gifty? Yes, Mama, we can hear you. <laughs> we can both hear you. Go ahead. Go ahead, please. Yeah, the year has been amazing. Oh, I, I apologize. We can't yeah. continue. Uh, it is, uh, you know, sound, almost impossible to hear you. Us. Exactly. Let's go to Christine Abwaje. Hello. Uh, good morning, Christine. Kindly unmute and tell us how tw you fared in 2020. Mr. Mwaje. Hello. Yes, we can hear you. There you are. Kindly uh, speak Merry up for Christmas us. Merry Christmas to you and all the viewers out there. Um, this year, 2020, is not uh, exceptional from all other years to me. Um, the only difference is about the COVID-19 and what it brought to us and the whole, and the whole world. Um, I would say the year 2020, uh, because of COVID-19, Ghanaians were able to uh, assess themselves to know how much we can live uh, independently um, based on what we produce. Uh, since we started producing a lot of the PPEs and whatever uh, was needed, uh, hand sanitizers, uh, nose masks, and all the rest. Um, to me, it has been a great year. It has provided opportunities for people who even didn't know they, they, they would be able to do uh, that much. So I think uh, moving forward, um, we should advise ourselves that um, uh, we as blacks can do all 
that is needed uh, to survive. And uh, uh, we thank God so much that we are still alive and seeing each other's face once again. Uh, right. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing, Ms. Sam. So I give to where are we going next? We're going to Adombere. Adombere, you are waving at us. <laughs> Dennis Adombere, it's good to have you. I'm looking forward to some very inspiring stories. Hello. How has 2020 been Hello. for you, Mr. Adombere? Yeah, Mama Biki. Merry Christmas. Many happy, Many happy returns. Yeah. Yes. Um, the whole year I've been grateful. I, 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 I wouldn't be truthful to God if I, I don't acknowledge that he has brought us this far, myself and my family, at least we haven't heard of any unfortunate incidents within the family. Um, the downside is the COVID hasn't been really great. Some of us, our businesses depend on all its imports and exports. Yes, to the fact that uh, most of these China need to be exports. So uh, that is the downside. Um, I think all in all, it has been great. It has been great. Uh, we can't ask for more. So that is the downside. Thank you. Uh, and and next destination is Elam. Elam, can you hear Thank us? You. Raphael Elam. Elam, I do hear you. Go ahead and tell us your 2020 story. Okay, looks like Elam isn't working for me this hour. Maybe I should go to someone else and come back to Elam. Maybe you should try and speak of him. Uh, Elam, a foin. A foin. Obanuka. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Alam, let's try this once again before I move on to the next person. Alam, I give a, another another chance for you there. Okay, let's do Adeti Solomon. Adeti Solomon, maybe I'll come back to Alam when it's get uh, when when the line gets better. Solomon, what is your 2020 story? Yeah, um, for me, I think that uh, COVID nineteen um, has brought some level of uh, uh, unity among us as, as, as people. I mean, the way we all rally around COVID-19, I think it was very inspiring. That the, the Ghanaian really cares about uh, fellow Ghanaian. But my lowest moment will be a uh, issue that uh, uh, Canada, Japan, you know, where... Korea, Japan, have had threatening a former president of this country, you know, to burn him alive and to burn his house. I think it's very unfortunate that as a lawmaker, they are supposed to inspire a we the young people coming. But when a lawmaker goes this way, and I, I mean, even the media is not even talking about it, you know, it's, it's very unfortunate for me that a lawmaker would threaten a former president of this country and who was still working for free and nothing happened to him. Okay. okay. So, All right. You have spoken about it, which is a good thing. So thank you very much for sharing. Right You've been reflecting on 2020. I see a lady, so yes. I am we should oh, do the lady biased. for two hours. Please join if you can hear us. The only lady that we see in braids, you are using uh, Derek, Derek Adolfo Amel, but I'm not sure it's a female name. So join with the audio, okay? So we can come back to you. Join with the audio. Okay, you're the only <laughs> female so far. So we, we, we were really desperate to hear from you. Okay, can you hear us now? Oh, for it, whilst we wait for Derek female, let's go to Ofori. Is it Ofori? Oforiba, aha, Oforiba. Oforiba, Fishapa. Tell us about how 2020 has treated you. So, um, I'm an event organizer. And, um, and uh, my new five, 
2020 really affected my business. Um, for the whole of the law lo lockdown, no weddings, nothing. So, oh, Charlie, uh, our businesses were grounded to a halt, mm. but gradually it's picking up. Mm. For the high side, um, we are only expressing our gratitude and thanks to God for giving us a wonderful year. Mm. Uh, we escaping all the death that stared in us in our face. Mm -hmm. And then preparing to see 2021. Yeah. Thank you very much. Well, thank you so much for also sharing. Uh, and you, I'm glad to hear that events have picked up. I have a wonderful photographer, just in case you need recommendations. I'll recommend him to you, so you use him. Uh, Derek, the only female so far I've seen who is called Derek. Good morning to you, Derek. <laughs> now she'll tell us her name. Oh, I see Derek there. So... And someone is feeding his lady in braids. We're talking to you. Kindly unmute yourself and talk to us. The lady, uh huh. Can you say something? This is saying she has been a good year, but family has been together. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, since has been a good year, family has met together. We had the opportunity to meet other family members yeah. that we didn't know. We came from a Okay, well, I guess you've made it very brief for us. We yeah. thank you very much. Uh huh. This was a presentation to a very good Oh, I'm sorry. We have to end it here because we can hardly hear you. Gifty, we're going yeah. to go to Abdul Salam. Yeah, I think what she was saying was uh, it's been a good year. The family had ha has had time to be together, which is great, 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 great. Unfortunately, our first female hasn't been uh, the Yas and Twa we're looking forward to. But that's okay. That's okay. I think it's a it is a network. So uh, Abdul Salam, I, I saw I actually saw someone with their wife with the wife. I was going to, it would have been interesting to hear from them. But let's do Abdul Salam. Abdul Salam, how are you? And what is the 2020 story there? Oh, kindly unmute. You have to unmute so we can hear you, okay? Abdul Salam, please unmute. Yeah. You are talking, but you are muted, so we don't see, uh, we don't hear what you're saying. Okay, let's do a family affair. Huawei, Huawei Y7P, the man and the wife. I'm sure she's your wife because you, you wouldn't. <laughs> the way you're... Hello, good morning. Yes, <laughs> the way you're lying on her, it has to be your wife. Hello, Hello. good morning. T tell us your name and your wife's name, then tell us the 2020 story. <laughs> Could be his sister, Gifty. Um, I'm not sure. Hi, if you can hear us, okay. We, we can bet on that, Mawadi. 50-50. <laughs> 50-50? Yeah. You owe me 100 from yesterday. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, Did we oh, lose you? Oh, I think we lost Huawei. Them. No, no, no. Huawei. Okay, I, I almost said that Huawei the way We I put say. a bet on you. Oh, please don't. Don't, <laughs> don't disappoint. Don't get lost. Huawei Y7. Where is he? We lost them. Okay, okay. let's go to Christian Gifty. We lost, we lost them. Christian. Christian. <laughs> Uh, I'm Mose Anani Christian. Sir, kindly unmute and say good morning to us, okay? Yeah, good morning, Mama. Okay, Mama. good. Good morning. Thank you for connecting. Tell us about your 2020. Oh, hi, Christian. I think Christian. Uh, Mama, we asked you know 2020. Yes, go ahead, please. Yeah, it really hurts me because from my experience, I went to a government hospital for some free treatment. The way they handled me in that hospital because of this pandemic, I usually regret of going there. And and when you come to our region, voter region, as if we are not thinking about this virus, we are not taking precautions. 
nothing at all. You can drain a car from a dropper to go. You never see a soldier so well marked. So, mm. so in fact, uh, I, I, I'm always thinking about this virus day and night. And I, my, 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 my thinking is, when are we going to get out of this virus? Because it makes everything bizarre, even academic year. Don't talk about that. And other things, other business have come down because of this virus. In fact, it, it, it really hurts me a lot. It really hurts me. Yeah, it's all about story that you've summed up for us uh, but you know in all we we still say that we've got life uh, so we thank you for sharing uh, and you have actually been sick and been well again so we thank god for uh, for your life I, I think that i mean for for the next person i see abdallah bawa waving at us looks like abdallah is ready to oh the there's paya noah who with, with a child paya noah paya noah with a child Oh, okay. You've you've said. Oh, okay, before. Abdullah. Let's finish with you quickly, and we go to uh, Paya Noah. You say Mama V. Okay, with a child. But you see, everybody's talking about COVID nineteen, and I really appreciate it. But apart from COVID nineteen, is there any other personal story you can share with us? Um, the, beyond COVID nineteen, COVID nineteen is like a constant in the equation. Mm -hmm. what, what what else? I mean, which other story is there to you know celebrate or discuss? You know. Is it Abdullah who said good morning? Yes. Okay. Abdullah Bawa, go ahead. It seems we muted him. Mr. Bawa, can you unmute? Okay. Can you unmute? Okay, we can. Okay, so let while we. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, can, can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> oh. I've been waving all this time, you know. Yes, sorry. <laughs> we apologize, but go ahead, okay? Please go ahead for us. You have to make it real quick. Yeah, I think many people are going to speak about um, Corona issue. Yeah. I think it was the dominant issue this year for all mm. of us, mm. you know. But but for me, I don't think I'm gonna speak about it, you know. Um, I think we should look at Corona and then try to treasure how uh, how peace is valuable, you know? I think looking at the lockdown, the, the fear that people were, were going through because of corona, you know, it was kind of crazy, everything was crazy. So I think um, we have to reflect on this and then look at the kind of violence that people are trying to bring um, regarding this. <laughs> Where am I here? Mm. Okay, yeah. Okay. all right. Here. Abdullah, uh, uh, we have to end it there. Uh, Huawei Y7P, we lost you. We saw the entire family, I think. Oh, there they are. Huawei Y7P, hello. Talk to us. Hello. Even if you're not able to say anything, are you, are, are you husband and wife? Yeah, we just said hello. They are husband and wife. Are you husband and wife? We put, we put money on it. <laughs> yeah, husband and wife. So, <laughs> Flats. The argument has <laughs> Okay, so 30 seconds. Just say something to us on how you fared in 2020. <laughs> All right. It's a, it has been a wonderful year. Oh. We thank God that as an African country, we are in election year and we are through peacefully. We thank glory be to Allah. That's the little out of Amen, amen, amen. <laughs> but you made my 50 CDs go. Yes, so. thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Listen, <laughs> in the, spirit. the rest of our friends on Zoom, we possibly couldn't have spoken to all of you, but we totally appreciate uh, your, sp uh, your spending time. Uh, okay. But Mapito Sibidi is coming up with show business, but she's going to pick up from where we've just ended. So you can connect with her later on at 11. Yeah. Right now, though, she's coming to share some show business news. And Oops. for those of you who join us with your babies, your wives, thank you. Hey, Enjoy the family moment. Hey. Yes. Enjoy the family moment. And thank you, hey. my family, for making me win 50 CDs. <laughs> afternoon mama is that all for today and we have a lot of messages by the way no on our WhatsApp uh, platform, we, 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 we'll, we'll we have one more thing to do but we'll get yeah. uh, mapito to come up and come and do show all righty okay? so, so let's do showbiz